Hello everyone and thank you for watching this new video on the Open Armand series. Today we will check how to align the new cuvette system to check on uh, solid powders. So the first thing uh, you need to do is to uh, align your spectrometer. Uh, this is the starter edition, so you can follow the video on how to align the starter edition. We are at the point where uh, the laser is aligned, so now I've placed this cuvette. You can check the link down below to download all the CAD files to reproduce uh, this uh, system. It's relatively straightforward to, uh, to assemble and you can check the drawing here. So the first thing I will do is I will put this at the nominal position which is 6.5 millimeter and I will remove the tree. I will also insert two extra posts and I will place this diffuser with an aperture at the middle. I will switch on the laser and I can see that the laser is passing by the hole so you can consider that this is aligned. So switch off the laser. I will now remove this tooling. We are done with the tooling. We know that these tools are centered and this one is at the nominal position 6.25 millimeter. That's from the design. Now we will use an actual sample to align the system. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, we need these little capsules that I'm going to insert there. Pressing really gently to make this fit in two. And I will take some salicylic acid. This is analytical grade, by the way. So it should be pretty pure. You only need um, a really small amount of, uh, of powders for, uh, for this sample. Okay. So you just want to tap a little bit so that it's even. I will place the sample and switch on the laser. Now what you can do is to open the spin view software and connect to the camera. I will set an exposure time of about 100 milliseconds. So it's 100, one, two, three. And I will put the gain to the maximum. Also I will check in the image format if you are not using the, the old sensor at the moment, uh, click on max image size and mono 8 for 8 bits of signal. Now we can take the acquisition. I will put also uh, some protection because we have plenty of lights at the moment and this introduces some stray light. If you don't have the crosshair, Check that you have the draw center crosshair enabled. This is really important for the uh, for the alignment. So what we currently see here is the Raman signal of the uh, salicylic acid. So I will just increase a little bit to not milliseconds so that we better see the, the signal. So what we have to do now is to Try to optimize. Okay, doesn't change anything, so it's pretty good now. You can also now try to go lower or higher. So you can also move this laterally. Okay, so this is normally aligned. So we can switch off the spin view software and we can start the spectrum analyzer program. 
I will connect to the camera. <coughs> I will check in the settings and I will put about 200 and a lot of gain. Then I will click on the live view image. So what we currently see is the signal. So now we'll um, display the saturation. And what I want to do is to just try to optimize a little bit such that, so for example, this is worse. Okay, this is better. So you should be looking at the red and green signal. Um, that's perfect. Okay, so that's about the maximum that I can do. And you see that it's actually already a little bit uh, too much. So this is just right enough to, uh, to take a spectra, but we don't want to take a spectra with uh, that much, um, with that much um, uh, gain. So we don't want to take a spectra with that much gain because that's way too noisy. So what I will do is I will switch off this one. I will put the gain to zero and I will set the default value of about one second. And I will take one spectra. And I will show the saturation. So you see that we are really low, like 10%. If I want to reach about 80%, uh, I guess I have to multiply this by uh, at least 7. So I will increase to 7 seconds. And take... A spectra again. And this is still a bit low, so we'll increase this to maybe 14 is too much. I will put 11 seconds to the acquisition of one spectra. Okay, so that's pretty good. What I will do now is I want to subtract the uh, the background noise from that. So I will switch off the laser and I will take one more image. So that's the ambient noise and I will take a blank to cancel it. Now I can switch back, I can switch my laser back on and take a new image. And that's our final uh, spectra of uh, salicylic acid. Obviously, I will copy the spectra, put it in Excel, and that's our spectra with all the peaks that you can compare to uh, to the database. So it's a relatively clean spectra, despite we are using the, the starter edition. So it's really perfect for uh, teaching application. So I was able to actually compare um, a few spectra of chemical site here um, with samples from uh, SDBS database. That's what you get with uh, with salicylic acid, and so you can see that. All the, all the peaks are there. They may be slightly shifted, uh, but that's not important. It's really the, the base wavelength of the laser that might be slightly off in the one I use. So you can clearly see that all the peaks are there. Uh, they are a bit broader. That's normal. It's because of the, the starter edition. The resolution you can expect from this spectrometer is about 34 centimeter minus one. This was checked with both the liquid and the solid version of the uh, starter edition spectrometer. You can get better results using the performance edition, but I currently find my laser of the performance edition, so I have to use the starter edition for the demonstration today. 
And that's about it. It's all you need to align the solid version of the Raman spectrometer. You may need to fine tune uh, these for each of the powder that you are using, but it takes only a couple of seconds uh, until you get uh, a nice spectrum. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon on the channel.